Squarespace e-commerce tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Squarespace e-commerce tool to create your own e-commerce website. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So Squarespace is a pretty cool website builder and it's free as well. There is a pricing plan, but we'll get into that later. So come over here onto you, the Squarespace website and click on get started. It's going to take you over to the template section directly and ask you to go ahead and select what type of website you want. Here you can go with any options that it has. So you can see apparel, travel, health, marketing, beauty, whatever it is that you want, right? And since this is an e-commerce platform or an e-commerce website, we're going to go with apparel and click on next. And it's going to select what type of options you want, right? Selling online courses, sending invoices, selling products, select whichever one you want, and then click on next. And then it's going to ask you how you want to get started with it. You want to build your website with a template or AI. I recommend going with the template option. It's much more simpler and easier. AI is not that great as of yet, but it is getting there. But it'll take a couple of more years for now we're going to go with browse template and here you're going to find a bunch of cool templates to choose from right uh depends on you which one you like and you know what type of color fonts and well overall aesthetic you're looking for if you want a simple website i'd recommend going with alameda if you want something a little bit flashy with nice colors and overall a good ui then go with galena or jelena manner is also pretty cool but this one is also pretty cool but i recommend going with alameda it's actually really simple nothing too crazy so we're going to select that and over here is going to be the sample colors and presets here you can select which type of colors you want so you can see all the cool stuff that you can go ahead and add i like this one right here it has a nice gray and cream color over here you can see right here but if you want you can go with other ones as well let's go with this one and then click on start this design if you really want to check it out just simply open up the uh, demo view on the other tab and this is how it looks like it looks really nice very simple nothing too crazy ss22 lookbook just that it's got the shop over here the uh, lookbook is going to be over here where you can people can go ahead and check out all the models and how you know these clothes look like wearing them the about section is over here and then the contact page nothing crazy it's as simple as that very simple right we've got tops bottoms and sales the categories that you might need i think this is a good option to choose from but if you want again more flashy templates then jelena is the go-to or you can go with other ones as well but totally depends on you this one is also really cool this one more bags but you know it'll still work the pickle one is over here brine and everything ains is the jewelry this is like gamer league but yeah i'm gonna go with alameda select the colors you like right and then just simply click on start with this design it's gonna open up the editor set things up for you and you should be good to go if you're wondering why we haven't created an account yet squarespace will let you create an account right now so here you can go with your email address or Google. Or if you want, you can also go with Facebook or Apple as well. So I'm going to continue with Google. And here we go. So as you can see, welcome to your site. It's done. Here you are going to name your site, whatever it is that you want to call it. Just name the site and then click on next. It's going to tell you how you can edit it. Just click on next. Click on next and get started. So here is the editor. The overall website looks pretty simple, clean, nothing too crazy. On the left hand side, you're going to have your options. You've got pages, styles, assets. You've got products and services, scheduling, invoicing, and all of the cool stuff, right? If you click on products and services, here is where you'll be able to upload your products. So I'm going to upload physical products right here. I'm going to click on add physical products. It's going to go ahead and create the options for me to do that. I can over here upload my own first product. I can also, I don't know if I can import here we go here is the import button here we're going to go ahead and import product and if it's shopify products just simply click on upload shopify csv just simply upload your shopify product csv file over here once you've done that give it a couple of seconds click on import and we should be good to go so this is how you can import products i'm also going to show you how you can create products as well i just wanted to do this beforehand and here we go so import successful click on ok and here we go so here are all the products that we have uploaded now if you want to add your own product click on add product all right select which type of product it is it's a physical product click on continue and give it a couple of seconds it's going to open up the editor here you're going to add your product name all right so let's say plain black tea add the description you know and use the ai tool whatever you want to call it that looks good a bit too big but you know what it is what it is i'll just 
get rid of the cotton over here, simple black tea or plain black tea. And that's good. After that, you're going to add your images, add the price. Let's say it's $10. And if it's on sale, going to be $7, right? And stock over here, just upload unlimited stock. No, it's not unlimited. We have around 200 in stock. Add the SKU, add variance if you want to, for example, size. So here we go. Size, I don't want color because it's a simple black tea. Size, small, medium, and large. Small, medium, and large. There we go. With that, we'll click on save. Now we have different variants as well. I'll also upload the media. And there we go. After that, you should be good to go. And then just simply click on save and also publish as well. That should be good to go. After that, it'll be available onto your store as well. Currently hidden. Let's go ahead and public it. There we go. So pretty cool. This is how you can add products. Now, if we go back to our website, let's go ahead and edit it out. So click on the edit button right here and give it a couple of seconds and the editor is available now let's go ahead and click over here and select and change some of these items right so since we have the option called manage items we're going to click on it it's going to tell us tops or going to be over here right and here we go so as you can see i've uploaded this product it's now available over here now to edit the website just simply click on the edit button and we can go ahead and start editing it out. So here we have the store editor, the site header, and here we have the main elemental elements, right? Now, when you hit edit button over here, you're going to see you have your main options. Here you can see uh, you have your manage items. Here you can go ahead and manage all of your items. You can import them. I also added categories as well. To create categories, you simply click on this cob wheel, and here you will see you have categories. To simply create them by just simply adding in the name you want, top, bottom, men, women, and then hit enter, and it'll automatically create categories for you. So we have the categories over here. SEO is going to be over here. Social images and advanced options are going to be over here. So pretty cool stuff. Next, uh, if you want to, again, edit them, just simply click on the section you want to edit and you should be good to go. Now, since this is a pretty simple website, there's not a whole lot to edit over here because there's not a whole lot of pages. So just simply click on the edit option of the header. Here you can edit, add elements over here by adding buttons, social link cards, you know, location switcher if you want to have some over here, as you can see. Over that, we can add buttons like that. Click on edit the design button. Here you can select the layouts. If you want the logos on the left, and buttons on the right, like this. If you want buttons and logos on the left and, you know, social links on the right, you can do that as well. Totally depends on you, how you like it. Me personally, I like this one. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy. You can add, you know, spacings over here. Elements, spacings are going to be over here drop shadow border fixed position if you want you can select the height i don't like the height that much so i'm going to lower that height like that and then you can edit the colors as well but i like the color so i'm going to leave it at that after that you should be good to go after that you can go ahead and edit whatever section you want and you should be good to go but because we chose a simple theme there's not a whole lot to edit uh, same thing can be said with the pages and the buttons so let's go ahead and edit it edit from here and go into different pages so here we have the store we have the shop over here here you have categories tops bottoms and sales right in each categories you will have your products right you can add products by clicking on the create button or clicking on here for some reason i can't add the products that i already uploaded which is kind of weird considering i uploaded them but it's not recognizing that i upload the, except the one that i created even though i have the imported options right here right these are the imported ones maybe from here i can go ahead and set them up so maybe here we go so these are the top ones I don't, i'm not sure let's go ahead and see that maybe i can move them from here so i'm going to select these ones unselect this one select all the women's clothing and jackets and then move them to shop or shop they're both shop i don't understand why to the store maybe let's go move them to the store then there we go i believe that should be it now if we go back go into the store section here we have all the female products and then we over here we can set them up as well so we click on females right click on add products or click on the settings button but anyway again i can't add that product from there it is so weird i don't know why that is happening it should not be like this i've already added the products i should have the option and even if i go back to the products and service section here we have the products right I don't have the option to actually make changes or add them to a specific category. It's like even if I go into the edit section, I have the option right here, right? Categories. I can select them from here, but I have to create them. But when I go into that, I can't find them over there for some reason. 
it is weird setup. I don't know if it's a bug or an unintentional or they don't realize it, but uh, it is what it is. And after that, you should be good to go. Want to go to pages? You can edit each individual page you want. You've got the store and the shop one. You can make the shop store your home page over here, as you can see, set as home page or delete page. Totally depends on you what you want to do. And yeah, pretty simple. After that, you should be good to go and you can just simply go ahead and publish the website. So pretty simple. This is how you do it. This is how you create an e-commerce store using Squarespace. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.